after learning about all the parts of the eye and how they are structurally adapted for their functions, now we can look at some of the functions of the eye, or basically how the eye functions. And one of them is summarized under the concept of accommodation. So what is this accommodation? So accommodation is the focusing of light on the retina. Remember, for an image to be formed, light is basically a refracted effect. It's refraction. It's refracted first by uh, first by the first by the cornea and then by the lens. But we'll we'll be focusing more on the on the lens, right? And then it must be refracted to the retina. Where on the retina? The yellow spot where the clearest vision is formed. You know why. Okay, we're not here for that. So we're gonna be looking at that. Mama's focus by changing the shape of the Let's so let's basically get rid of all other things. So in your eye, yeah, right behind the, the, uh, the your pupil, you will have a lens. This lens has a shape. The shape of this lens is convex. So the lens is less convex for distant objects. So when objects are far. Yeah, the lens becomes less convex, right? And then when objects are near, that is less than six meters, far is more than six meters, and then near is less than six meters. So when objects are more than six meters away, that means they are far, ne? the lens becomes less convex. It becomes almost uh, thin. But don't use less convex or more convex when you're answering your questions. Then the lens becomes more convex if the object is near. That's basically what happens. So let's get into the process of accommodation. The process of accommodation basically uh, does not have to do uh, with the lens alone. It involves other parts of the eye, such as your ciliary muscles, mostly your suspensory ligaments. So how do they pay, uh, play a part in accommodation? So let's start with near vision so when an object is near six six meters or less less than six meters so now let's see and uh, let's see we're going to focus on what remember these are ligaments suspensory ligaments and the ciliary body we're going to see what happens to this in order for the shape of the lens to change now let's say now we bring an object nearer to the eye notice that the light is refracted but does not fully converge on the retina, it will actually converge after, after the retina, ne? if it was possible. So, what happens? Now, your eye will focus the image on the retina. How does it do that? First things first, CC, ciliary muscles contract. Your ciliary muscles contract. Remember those ciliary, ciliary muscles will contract. If the ciliary muscles contract, what happens to the ligaments remember ligaments are in elastic they're not like muscle they can't contract or relax so we say that the suspensory ligaments will slacken they, they to slacken is to loosen a bit they, they become loose yeah? the ligaments become loose your sclerum uh, is pulled forward right so the tension on the lens now decreases td is c c s s t d l f so now we are by td the tension decreases where on the on the lens why because the, the ligaments have slackened so that means they're not pulling the lens so the object is far it's, it's sorry sorry it's near yeah? so we need to focus now what happens what happens to the shape of the lens when an object is near what happens see what happened to the shape it was it was less convex, it becomes more convex as it focuses the light onto the retina. So how does it become more? How does it become more convex? By basically CC, ciliary muscles contract, then sclerus pulled forward, suspensory ligaments loosen or slacken, that's SS. Then the tension decreases 
then it bulges up, meaning that the tension has decreased on the lens. Then it becomes more convex. So lens becomes more convex. Then the refractive power of the lens basically increases. It is able to bend light even more. And a clear image is formed on the retina. That's basically how things work. Now, that is for near vision. Now, for further vision, that's six meters or more. That's more than six meters, actually. Yeah. Let's see. This, this now is it's a, it's far. What happens? Light is basically con, uh, converges or basically yeah, is reflect, uh, refracted and converges before the retina. An image is formed before the retina. That is not where we want. We want an image to be formed. We want it to be formed on the retina. Now, because this object is far, this is what happens. So, how does your eye basically uh, combat this? It does the exact opposite, opposite of CC, SS, TG, LF. What does it do? Remember, it was CC, suspensory ligaments contract. Now, when an object is far, ne? Uh, oh, no, no, not suspensory ligaments, ciliary muscles contract. When an object is far, they don't contract. It's the opposite. They relax. Cilia ciliary muscles will relax. Your ciliary muscles relax. And then sclera goes back. Ne? It goes back to its normal position. Then the suspensory ligaments become tight. Ne? The suspensory ligaments tighten, basically. And then the tension is increased. Where the tension increased? On the lens. And then the lens becomes less convex. Remember, we're talking about the shape. Yeah? Now we're focusing on the far. Let's now let's focus on the shape of the lens. Now, as your ciliary muscles relax, sclera goes back into its position, normal position, and then suspensory ligaments become tough or tight, not tough, tight. Yes. So the tension on the uh, on the lens increases. Then the lens becomes less convex. As it becomes less convex, it focuses light onto the retina. Now light is focused on the retina to form a clear image. That means the refractive power of the lens has decreased. The clear image is formed. That's basically what the accommodation is for near and far objects. Remember, near is less than 6 meters. Far is more than 6 meters. Now, quick quick summary. What is accommodation, basically? So, we know what is accommodation. We can define it. If they ask us to define it, it's the focusing of light on the, ret on the retina. Basically, by the lens becoming less convex for distant object and more convex for uh, your near objects okay? right in summary near, for near vision cc ciliary muscles contract ss before ss clara is pulled forward then suspensory ligaments loosen or slacken tension is decreased and the lens becomes more convex because this image this this object is near the refractive power of the lens is increased and a clear image is formed on the retina then when an object is far away meaning it's six meters away or more ciliary muscles will relax clara goes back into its normal position and then your suspensory ligaments be become a bit tight when they when something you tighten something in terms of a rope you increase Tension, right? Good. Uh, tension on the lens increases, then the lens becomes less convex and it decreases refractive power. Therefore, an image, a clear image is formed on the retina. So that is accommodation.